Lynn, you, um, you're a New York kid. Uh, you're from an immigrant background, Catholic background, growing up in New York City. This guy is making movies coming from the same background in some ways, yeah. uh, immigrant family, Catholic background, streets of New York. Did you, was, did you? Yeah, it's so interesting that, that you brought up Last Temptation of Christ, because I remember when that movie came out. I was, I, I'm sorry to make you feel old. I was seven. Um, <laughs> Come on. I, but I remember my, my, my hyper, hyper Catholic grandmother, oh. so Catholic that we would pretend to stay asleep because if you were up at the same time, she'd take you to the 6.30 a.m. mass. <laughs> so we'd pretend to be asleep until she left for the 6.30 a.m. mass. Um, Did and, you know that, Luce? But I remember um, seeing the whole sort of hoopla around it, and I, I think I was staying with my grandparents um, that summer, um, but then seeing the movie and loving the movie and kind of, you know, I had grown up with sort of the the dogma and the and the Sunday school and catechism of the Catholic Church. Um, and that that movie led me to really one of the more formative classes in my life, which was at Wesley and I took a class called uh, The Gospels and Christianity. It's just incredible if you grow up Catholic to realize that the Bible was edited. That there mm -hmm. were a ton of stories that were written around that time, mm -hmm. and then some of them made it into the Bible centuries later, and some of them didn't. And this class focused on you know, stories from the Dead Sea Scrolls and stories of that era that didn't make the Bible. There's a Gospel of Mary that are basically like Superboy stories about Jesus. He, like, <laughs> knocks a kid off the roof and brings him back to life. He, like, brings a pigeon back to life. <laughs> yeah, the bird flies. He knocks him out. And he goes, oh, I feel bad. He brings him back. Like, it's Jesus <laughs> grappling with his powers as a kid. Wow. Um, and the notion of, oh, whoever <laughs> decided what stories got into the Bible helped create what we all learned as kids. Uh -huh. That's, there's a direct line between that and who lives, who dies, who tells your story mm -hmm. in Hamilton. Um, the notion of the person telling the story is just as important as what actually happened and actually shapes what happened. Um, that's, that, that was a big uh, influence and it, and it stems from Last Temptation of Christ all the way to that class, all the way to sort of opening up history for me. Wow, it's amazing. I mean, I, you know, uh, I was very serious about making that film. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect the the uh, the reaction on that level. Mm -hmm. um, and um, but just and the notion yeah. that asking what if because it didn't happen. No, he I has know. a what if. It's, it's what it's if I'd gotten married? One moment of yeah. uh, one moment because it's uh, in Christologically spe speaking, it's all divine and all human. Yeah, all in the same the same uh, being, so to speak. Absolutely. Therefore, it has to deal with um, the temptations of the humanity. Uh, and the temptation ultimately was to lead a normal life. 